Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Classic. Today we are going to be hunting the other Australia map in preparation for Australia coming to the Hunter Call of the Wild. As the time of recording this and posting this, we are one day away from the uh, Emerald Coast early access in the Hunter Call of the Wild. So I decided, you know, let's get that uh, Australia itch kind of scratched until then. So without further ado, let's hopefully go find ourselves some trophies. You know, the thing about the Hunter Classic is because animals do spook from very far away whenever you fire a rifle, if you're doing a rifle hunt, you really don't want to be shooting every single animal that you come across. You want to try and wait for the ones that are actually worth taking a rifle shot with and then take everything else with the bow. However, considering stuff like feral goats does not have a collar, we're not going to be shooting any feral goats unless they're notable enough to shoot. I say that because we've got this right in front of us and it's uh, not exactly good enough to take down. That is a very mediocre goat. So we're probably just going to let that one go. I mean, that's a little bit better for sure. I think that is actually a pretty good one for that horn type. I could be wrong, but that actually does look like a very solid feral goat. Now, the thing about feral goats that makes them kind of difficult to judge is there's a few different horn types and uh, only one of them is leaderboard quality, but each of them has, I guess, what would be considered big for that horn type. So I'm not very good at judging all the different horn types. All I know is uh, what an absolute monster is, but uh, I think we're probably going to take that guy. He does look pretty good. Yeah, nothing else giant in this group right here. Let's just get lined up on him and take him down with the 6.5 after I load it. I probably should have done that earlier, but you know what? You, you live and learn, but apparently I don't because that's not the first time I forgot. And that is going to be a dead goat right there. We'll see if we can maybe pick up a shot on one of these. Yeah, we got him. And down he goes. So we got two of them. Beautiful. About a week ago, I believe at this point, maybe a little bit more, uh, we did a video on the other Australia map in uh, preparation for the brand new Call of the Wild Reserve. And I thought it would be a great idea to do it for this one too. I asked you guys if you wanted to see it and a lot of you were like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So we decided that we would end up doing it today. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you do, Leave a comment down below letting me know that you do enjoy it as that is one of the best ways to show me that you uh, like the content is leaving a comment and telling me that you do. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as it does help out quite a lot with uh, getting us to a point where I can do more games like this. Alrighty, let's go with something like that. That's good enough. I know the lighting just went away a bit, but I'm not too worried about it. You know, let's go through the filters and see what we got here. I'm thinking, I mean, chroma always looks so good, especially in low light situations, but honestly, just all the time. I love this filter for some reason. So let's just go with that and uh, let's go claim the other one. Let's just swing by and grab this other feral goat real quickly. And then we will probably take down a kangaroo because I see a couple off in the distance. And uh, one of them's a female, not sure about the other one, as to be honest, I don't know where it went, but uh, that's the female right there. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see what this one is. Okay, that one is also a female. I mean, I think regardless, we'll take one down just because kangaroos are like the most hyped up part of the brand new call of the wild reserve. So let's go ahead and see if we can take a shot. I don't know if this is going to be good. I got a bad feeling about this shot, but you know what? We're just going to go for it once it gives us a shot. We're going to try the longer range one. Well, there's a ton of them close. So as we go over to pick up our kangaroo, because it is uh, right around here, I believe. Let's take down a couple more goats. There we go. One more goat down. Now, uh, let's go claim them. You know, something that I have been trying to do recently here on the channel is break out of like some old habits that I've had from when I started YouTube that I've just never been able to shake. One of them is like every single time I get a kill, I say something like, and now let's go claim it or now let's continue or something like that when I really don't even need to. So 
I'm trying to break out of little habits like that because I know it's probably not exactly the best for video quality purposes. It probably sounds a little repetitive to say that after every single one and it's just a bad habit that I've had that I'm really trying to break. I need to be a little bit more creative with uh, my choice of words when making videos, but you know, it can be difficult if you've been doing it for pretty much the entire time you've been on YouTube. And so I'm definitely going to try and make uh, more of an effort to break those habits of saying repetitive things during these videos. Cause like I said, it's just and not something that I particularly like about my content. I feel like there's still a lot of uh, a lot of room for improvement in terms of commentary. Even after three years on YouTube, there's definitely still some stuff that I can improve on, and that is definitely one of them. You know, I don't remember what the max weight estimate is for these things, but 90 kg seems like it's pretty big. I think this one has a chance of being pretty large. Let's go ahead and get lined up on it. If I'm not mistaken, I believe a kangaroo in the 80s is considered good, but I don't know for sure. Either way, we got it down, so we're about to find out. So it looks like any kangaroo above 84 is going to be leaderboards at this point, so let's hope that this one is. It was definitely within that weight estimate, so... Yeah, definitely not going to be there. 73. So not a great start, but I mean... Not too terrible, at least we found a male. I don't know where that female went, but at least this guy showed up. You know, I absolutely love the kangaroo poses. I think they're really cool. Uh, we're gonna go with that, probably just for thumbnail. It's not like I'm actually going to keep that uh, trophy shot in the long run. You know, I was really hoping to find some axis deer today, but all we found is goats and kangaroos and some hogs, and I mean, none of those are exactly axis deer, so. We're probably going to keep going until we end up finding at least a couple of decent axis deer because that is the thing that I enjoy the most about uh, Bush Rangers Run. So we're going to do our best to find some. However, in the meantime, I guess we should take out one of these goats if they give us a good shot. Well, there's not a lot of good goats, so I think we're just going to take a shot on whichever one gives us one first. I think that guy is the best, so we're going to try and get him. I mean, that should kill it. It's just a feral goat. They're practically paper. Not exactly the uh, next shot I was hoping for, though. And uh, just as I was saying, they're practically paper. That thing went down super, super quick. Let's go ahead and move along. And uh, since we just fired our gun, we're probably going to uh, fast travel over to an area that I really, really like for Axis Deer. And we're just going to hope that we get something good there. This is actually where we ended up starting the video. I ended up restarting the game after 40 minutes because we just weren't finding anything and oh my gosh. No way. You gotta, you gotta be joking. That's a piebald. Oh my gosh. I think that's a piebald, right? That's gotta be a piebald. <laughs> I can't believe that. Well, I I guess after 40 minutes of nothing, it was a good idea to uh, start a new game. We ended up hunting over there. This is the area that we spawned in at. We hunted around there, got that goat, and then ran over here, or uh, fast traveled over here, because usually whenever I go into a game, I like to fast travel away so that there's more animals in the area. If you didn't know the spot you spawned in, Usually there won't be anything within like 200 meters, so usually if you're trying to go to a place like this where you've got a uh, blind, you want to fast travel to it instead of just going straight there at the beginning. And uh, that's what we ended up doing, and this thing was literally right in front of us. That's incredible. I cannot believe that. This is piebald, right? I don't think there's a spotted variation unless I'm just completely wrong. You know what? Now that I think of it, didn't they do a rework to Feral Pigs? I might be, uh, might be a little bit stupid here. Oh, no, it is piebald. <laughs> it is piebald. Oh, my gosh. Well, <laughs> that's incredible. We got a piebald. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's tax it. Just a real quick taxidermization. Uh, we don't have enough gems. Let's use the M's. There we go. Oh my gosh. Well, this is my second piebald hog of all time, I believe. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the second one I've ever killed. That is so cool. 
Honestly, with a feral hog, this is probably the best picture we're going to end up getting. It's really difficult to get them to position themselves properly without using the poses. And I, I wanted to do a more natural looking thing like this. Kind of just laying it out on its belly. Not bad. I will take that. This is definitely the highlight of our return to classic. I mean, we did a video maybe a week or two ago. And now we're doing another one. This is definitely the best trophy since coming back. Cannot complain, man. But once again, it's not Axis Deer. I mean, I'm very, very happy with it. But I've probably spooked off any Axis Deer that could have been in the area. So that's a little disappointing. But I think we will still search around and see if we can find some. Let's go a different direction than we did in the last game. I think this is going to be the direction to go. That is a decent estimate, Kangaroo. 60 to 95. It could be really good or it could just be an average one. That's the thing about the kangaroos. If you don't have a high spotting skill, it's going to be really tough to tell. And unfortunately, our spotting skill is very low. Because I really don't hunt these things a lot. I'm not a huge fan of kangaroos in classic. I feel like, um... I feel like in Call of the Wild, it might be a bit different. They seem like they're a lot more interesting, but... Here in Classic, it's just not exactly my first choice. I'd much rather hunt uh, Sika Deer, or not Sika Deer, uh, Axis Deer, or the Feral Goats, or, to be honest, even the uh, Feral Pigs are a little bit more interesting at times. But uh, in Call of the Wild, I hope they're going to be a lot different. All right, let's see if this kangaroo's any good. Uh, this is not exactly an ideal spot to be uh, having to take a trophy shot if it is, but luckily it's not quite leaderboards so we're not going to worry about it uh let's go ahead and move on okay i really want to take that down because i actually have not got to see these things up close uh this is one of the new variations for the feral pigs or feral hogs that was not in the game the last time i played which is why i was curious if that piebald was even a rare because uh they did a whole rework to these things and i haven't played since then or at least i haven't hunted feral pigs since then i should say so I wasn't 100% sure, but it looks like ours was actually a rare, unless Piebald is a common now, which I don't think they would do that. But that over there, that is definitely one of the variations that I've never been able to kill. So let's see if we can get it down. It looks really cool from this angle, so hopefully it ends up being a nice one. You know, I think that angle should be good, and if not, it, it should be turning into an angle that we can actually take. Let's just see. Can we make this shot? I think so. That is probably a vital hit. I think so. Well, either way, it is hit. Hopefully, it'll be enough to take it down. The thing about classic is a lot of times things will die if you hit them. Especially if the rifle is large enough. But sometimes it takes a long time. Like an absolute eternity so hopefully the 6.5 is big enough to take it regardless of what type of shot we hit but to be honest i think the 6.5 might be a little small for a flesh wound to kill it so yeah it's unfortunate however it did stop so let's just shoot it again to make sure that it goes down there's no way that it lives through both of those so our first hit was just a body shot which I kind of had a feeling it would be, as that was a, a bit of a long shot to take. There it is. There's our little uh, feral hog. What are you? You're a belted one. Okay. We're going to trophy shot it just in case it's rare. Again, I'm not familiar with a lot of these new uh, fur types for them. So let me know in the comments if belted is a rare or... Wait, what the... Oh my gosh! <laughs> I mean, can't say no to that. Uh, <laughs> what is, what happened? Um, <laughs> I I can't even. That's just that's wonderful. <laughs> we'll just we'll leave it like that. You know what? Screw it. We'll leave it just like that. Um, the lighting is terrible though. What a bad angle. It, it is what it is. I, I don't know if I can replicate that. So we're just going to go with it and then uh, pop up the chroma filter. That is wild. That is absolutely wild. There we go. Finally, an axis deer is in our sights. 
Uh, let's go ahead and just pop this thing. We're probably going to try and get to a spot where I can go on my belly. That way I get a better uh, steady shot or a more steady shot. And then we'll take it down. Just happy we finally found one. This is the whole reason that I came over to uh, Bush Ranger's Run was to hopefully get some access deer. But, of course, we uh, don't find one till very far into the video. And down he goes. And with our uh, goal species finally down and me having uh, not a lot of time to get this video edited and uploaded, I think it's time we jump in the trophy lodge and take a look at that beautiful piebald. You know, it's been a very long time since I have visited any of our trophy lodges in Classic, and man, I had forgot just how awesome these things look. Now, they're definitely not as uh, advanced as Call of the Wilds lodges, but they look really clean, man. They look really clean. Also, it's been a while since I've seen our non-tips. We need to go for some more non-tips in Classic. I think that's something we'll definitely have to do soon. If you guys end up enjoying this type of a video and want to see more of the Hunter Classic, leave a like on the video. It shows me that you guys like the content and want to see more of it. But there is our beautiful piebald feral hog. That is really cool. I'm just still so blown away that we actually got something good. I was just going to hunt Australia because you guys told me to hunt Bush Rangers Run since we hunted Pickabean Bay in the last uh, Hunting Australia video. So we decided to do Bush Rangers Run and it ended really well. The next time that we play Australia will likely be the brand new map in the Hunter Call of the Wild. So thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you. This has been a fun time. Glad we actually got something noteworthy out of this. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.